What I ordered from the United States that my friend brought me after me not being there for five years and eight months. I got this book from Jerry Lopez because I love his new Patagonia film. He meditates and surfs and he says like key to his surfing is his meditation. Curious to see what he says in the book. I feel like he's like a vintage character, like iconic surfer. <laughs> period repair manual because I need it. I sent an email to a natural doctor in my hometown. She said she couldn't see me because I'm not in the town, but she linked me women that have helped other women, like blogs and books. Eat, pray, love because it was $1. Whenever I want to write, this book really inspires me and it will be my third time reading it, but my first time reading the whole thing in paperback and not electronically. I guess next we could do food. <laughs> Fake maple syrup with no high fructose corn syrup for my American friend and his family, and it survived. It only feels slightly sticky. Crushed chips. This is for a friend who's been craving it for so long. This is for me. She couldn't find cake pod. But this doesn't say gluten-free. I thought I ordered gluten-free. I think there's another one. Yeah, but... This one should say like gluten-free. This one's granola, which says gluten-free. So granola in Asia kind of sucks. This one's apple blueberry, and we're gonna use it on our smoothie bowls. <laughs> it's one of the only ones by Bob's Mill that's gluten-free, where they process it separately. This is the one that's sold here. <sighs> I think Walmart packed me wrong. Walmart brand coconut sugar. So many hemp seeds. <laughs> hemp milk recipe on the back. Um, I need space for this. Gluten-free flour. One-to-one -one gluten free flour. That's gonna be fun. Oh my god. This was at the bottom of the bag and it made it. It's glass, no bubble wrap. On the bottom, 48 pounds of shit on top. I and have faith. This one will be a surprise for my American friend and his family. And where's the other one? This must be the other one. And this one will be for us. I haven't had maple syrup. I think I've had some, but not one that's gonna be this nice, even though this is just a random Walmart one. Bourbon aged organic maple syrup. The true taste of the forest. Happy trees, sappy people. Ingredients, organic Vermont maple syrup aged in bourbon barrels. Man. The trouble Katie went through for fucking pumpkin pie spice that I could make by myself, like I just don't have clove powder. Trader Joe's pumpkin pie spice, so it's partner in crime is the everything but the bagel seasoning. How much were these, $2? Yeah. On Amazon, they're like 6 or $7. That's why I sent you out there, but it's still more expensive with the... How long did it take you to walk? An hour? Half an hour? Uh, yeah. What kind of barcoding is this? They, they taped over the label and the ingredients and nutrition facts. This is gluten-free baking powder, plant-based protein van vanilla chai. I think that'll be really nice with vegan milk because it's fall and I haven't had chai in a long time because I don't trust anything that says chai on it. What um, kind of vegan milk? Uh, whatever we want. This is just a protein powder with vanilla powder and all the spices. So we have to provide the smoothie base or the milk. What kind of vegan milk do you like? You know, I didn't like soy milk until I tried it here, and it was so good. Oh, you saw where to buy it, right? Baking vanilla with pure vanilla extract. Shit, I don't think this is what I wanted. Baking vanilla with pure vanilla extract sounds terrible. Glycerin, natural flavors, shit. I fucked up the vanilla, and I got three of them. Should have just gone with McCormick. <laughs> Number two. Oh my god. I'm so sad right now. <laughs> I'm on like the last drops of vanilla extract that Victor bought me. I just want to sell these to people here. I don't want to use them. <laughs> the star of the show has to be 900 grams of menstrual dates. This is going a lot faster than I thought. Like I'm more comfortable with Katie right there than I thought I would be. After not seeing each other for six years. I told everyone we only knew each other for three and a half years and we haven't seen each other in over five and a half years. Wow. So it's like the time apart is double the time together. Why do they put a drying agent in the suitcase? Maybe I should leave them in there because Vietnam is a wet country. <laughs> oh, which direction should I go in next? Katie, should I show backpack or clothes? clothes. Next, clothes, okay. Spring suit, that's very cheeky. That's too warm for the water here because it's so warm here. I actually just need one millimeter and this is two millimeter, but 
I decided if I buy a spring suit, I want to buy one that I want to wear a lot. So maybe it'll be so windy that I do need two millimeters. I don't know. It looks small. I hope it stretches and over time it'll stretch because the model is bigger than me. Yeah, that's usually what happens. So especially I'm, when you get it wet. I'm happy because my height and weight fit the size chart. When the suitcase was lost, I was like, oh my god, the designer spring suit. Um, the guy is kind of famous, he's Shane Jones, and I emailed him, I was like, it takes 10 business days for the order to be sent out. I thought that meant the suit is already done and it takes 10 days to arrive in the shipment. He's like, I'll put your order in front of 20 others mm -hmm. and work on my day off. No in there. Yeah, he, he, well, I didn't pack it. No! Shane! <laughs> yeah, he had a note in there that was like, I worked on my day off to get this to you in time. But it, it came plenty of time. It was like before the wedding it came. He's smart with marketing. He does what people should do. And they have everything in California. In Florida, we don't have stuff they have in California. These are summer bottoms designed by Aaron Krause. These are bottoms with a drawstring. They will help stay on in the water. I've been losing my bottoms paddling out. I'm like about to moon the whole beach like all the vietnamese people <laughs> i use the patagonia baggies for everything i'm listening to the book that he wrote and it's designed for surfing and hiking and i've used it exactly for that i swam for four years hiked in nepal up to the himalayas surfed in sri lanka and vietnam in the same pair of shorts i almost ordered an extra two pairs of used the worn wear oh, on yeah. Patagonia, but they're so expensive and I was buying so much already. I was like, if you have one, even though it's beat up and doesn't look black anymore, it's still like working, then just use one because when you leave Vietnam, you're probably gonna have to pick one anyway. But I wanted to try the five inch baggies. I have two and a half inch, cause that's what Kelsey recommended. I wanted a hot pink pair and by the time I checked it again, it was taken cause it was a good deal. $26 for excellent condition used hot pink baggies. Um, they even have like hemp baggies. It's just too much now. Gluten-free Oreos freaking me out <laughs> on Molly's feed. <laughs> I'm excited for adjustable things like this feels thick and like it's gonna stay on. And it, it all matches. It's really dangerous to open these websites because once you have one piece, you feel like you need to buy the other piece. Because I'm way less likely to wear it if it's not the same color and shade. They get you good. Did you have the surf zinc in here somewhere? In the back. It, I put it on the other okay. side of okay. the osprey. We'll do it later. Finish the bikinis. Jesus Christ. I do think I will actually really use everything I bought. So that's if you've made it this far, first of all, I am concerned for your bank account after watching a video like this. But thank you so much <laughs> if you've made it this far. I think it is interesting to try to think about supplies because technically we don't need anything. And I just want to say that this video is not healthy for consumption, American capitalist marketing. I did actually end up using everything Katie brought me. It got put into use immediately. We went traveling. I'm surfing a lot better with surf bikinis. And I just want to show you this. I just want to show you that this is what the wetsuit looks like on. It fits perfectly. It feels very warm. I don't know if I can surf in it. It feels warm indoors, but it looks good. When I was seeing other people in the water wearing the rib curl ones with the back tie, I love the long zipper pull strap. I was like, oh, I should have gotten that. It's way cheaper. But now that I put it on again, I love the fit. This is what the wetsuit looks like on. Ignore my bed. I'm on my period. The zipper is really strong. It can stop anywhere on the way down and not slip. So yeah, again, don't forget all this marketing for environmental friendliness is a myth. The only way to truly love the environment is to not buy what you don't need and to not use packaging, to not use delivery. So I believe like if you have a medical problem, if you have a health problem and doctors in Vietnam are prescribing you antibiotics every month, nonstop, and you know this supplement will help you, then yes, order it from the US all the way to Vietnam. Definitely. This video is also to raise awareness to that. Like I did shop a lot using my Africa savings. So I will suffer the financial consequences of that. I think YouTube influences a lot of purchasing. I'm very aware of that. I don't want that to be my channel, but I thought this is kind of like a guilty pleasure kind of genre and idea for my vlog. I'm not gonna keep posting stuff like this. And I think I'll show more vlogs like, oh, what $5 got me at my local vegetable stall. Okay, I'm sweating. I'm gonna try outside. Let's go outside. My balcony. I think I'm still hot in this wetsuit outside. 
rainy, gloomy day. It's winter in Vietnam. It's my street. The neighbors think I'm crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, wetsuits are about like the water temperature. And this is a 2-2. Two -two. A 1-1 one -one is more than enough for tropical waters. So maybe wearing this will motivate me to get out there today because I'm cramping hard. I didn't sleep well because I think I drank like a sip too much of caffeine yesterday. Where is this going? Okay, so Katie left a month ago. Still not over it, still heartbroken. And everything I ordered fit into the bag and I added up the bag weight with everything I ordered down to like the last supplement. I've already used more than half of my supplements. I am really benefiting from all of them. I'd just be put on shitty drugs if I used the medical advice here. So, where am I going with this? This is just more editing for me. Fuck. Okay, I'm going back to editing now. Getting out of this sweatsuit. <laughs> I'm really happy with my purchase. I caught a lot of waves today. I feel like I deserve my designer surfwear. It wasn't too hot. It just feels like I'm wearing like a nice fitted cozy sweater in the water that sucks me in. It gives me confidence because it just vacuums away your belly. It was just so perfect today, like glassy for the first time ever and small. I don't have to fight for any waves because I surf a 9-2 single fin. It was just such a great day and I had like so many doubts about this. <laughs> I'm holding my hair. I had so many doubts about this purchase. I like straight cuts. I will use it so much for surfing. I like that one. And I have black nails. I don't have a good pair of cheeky bottoms. I like cheeky black bottoms because they fit everything and they're good for tan lines. Oh, let's see if this fits. The ones I'm wearing now are from H&M. Every time I'm in them, they're like not enough fabric and then it's too long. So if I open my legs at all, I feel like everything's out and I hate that feeling. <laughs> Airy had cotton underwear, so I just got one pair. One cotton thong, good times and tan lines. This is I'm really excited for, period underwear. Oh, I use that. From I which like brand? Um, it's a Victoria's Secret ones. Nice! And they're they're like boxer shorts. That makes so much sense. I love how it's high-waisted. Yeah. Have you used them before? No, uh, never. I wouldn't like trust the ones here. Everything in no. Asia is like second quality and everything that's good quality from Asia goes to the West. So then everything's made in Vietnam. This one's made in Cambodia, which is next door. And then it goes to the US for all of us to buy, which is not fair. And then it comes back to me because I can't get it out here. I was thinking that too, when I was everything. in the mall yesterday, like I thought a lot of good stuff was made in Vietnam, but the mall didn't have the good stuff. So yeah. Why were you in a mall yesterday? <laughs> I don't know. No, this is two days ago. Tumble dry low. That's not gonna happen. Our period undie is made for those days when comfort is what you want most. You can be worn confidently on those light to medium days. No, I want it for the heavy days. When you do you use it? It's for heavy days too. Well, now it's kind of late. Specify. <laughs> holds up to two tampons of fluid. I mean, that's fine for a heavy day. So it's not only good for you, but for the environment too. Sure, it's good for the environment if it's made in Cambodia, shipped to the US, packaged in all of this and all of that dye and <laughs> fabric. The moral of this video is don't buy anything. Don't go shopping. <laughs> Just look at this. Give away all your possessions and have them lightened. Yeah, thrift period underwear, that's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm polluting this air with this packaging. Cotton leggings, because I don't have any, but I think they're too small. <laughs> I'm like ripping my new clothes. What the hell? That's why they were on clearance, because they're just made weird. 92% cotton, that's why I'm excited about this. Made in China. Oh god, next we have Calvin Klein. This is their sports bra, U cut. This one is their most classic bra in their most classic color. I actually have zero bras, so it'll be nice not to show my nipples every time I wear something yellow or lighter. This one's not all caught, but I have this thing where I can't buy half a set. I need to buy the full set. Otherwise, I'll not want to wear it. These were on sale, three packs of thongs and underwear. I just wanted cotton underwear. They're really useful. I've been wearing extra large ill-fitting men's underwear from the supermarket here and they have like a crotch pouch that I don't need. Oh, these are the thongs which I only got because if I got these I would qualify for free shipping. Thongs, 100% cotton. I'm not a big fan of thongs anymore. They were more like a high school thing. Hmm? What about for you? I've never worn thongs ever. That's good. 
<laughs> it's healthy. I don't understand why you want something with a butt. New backpack came like just when my bag is literally at its end. It's at its. I actually want all of the stuff out of the room because it all smells like the factory. I kept getting like candida and infections that I didn't know about. And so I trashed my old period cup and I've been just using tampons, nothing, or cotton Korean and Japanese pads as much as I can. I used to be the biggest spokesperson for reusable period supplies. Lena gave me a free cup, a clear period cup. That's ironic, but the industry these days is really good. They're making good cups these days. Pouch for cup. That came. Clear is really nice. Between clear and coral, still like the coral. 7.30 December 3rd, just threw on my period underwear. And I have to say, I'm so stoked. I just pressure cooked some lentils, kale, potato, sweet potato, all the spices, uh, onion. It took four minutes in the pressure cooker. This is the fit of everything. I believe if you use what you buy, it's better for the environment. If it's reusable and you actually really use it. And this is a clear cup Lena sent me. Just used it to surf, it was great. I've got my table, heating pad, period undies, lentil soup, kimchi with tofu, seaweed squares, leftover spicy peanut sauce I made, and some raw vegetables, chamomile tea and peppermint tea, two types of tea bros chocolate. Throwing on the YouTube, I don't know what healing and taking care of yourself and being yourself is, but I think it looks like this. And I want everyone to save their money and to earn money by doing what they love, by being friendly to the environment and spend money on good stuff. Like spend money on expensive stuff that lasts a long time and that makes your body last a long time. Wishing everyone a happy holiday season. I hope I'll see you again before the end of the year. Blowing a kiss, good night.